good old club soda. And welcome to Listen Buddy Podcast. Intuition, the man that liked to play victim, you raised a horrible fucking person. The nerve of you, Dennis. Now just sit down. What I'm about to say is heavy. Now listen, <clears throat> your son's a sick man with sick thoughts. I think Nick's like him. Damn. Yeah. Fucking dead. Died in another child. Died in another child. Died in another child. You are hiding a child. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Shout out Zach Fox. Hello, 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 hello. We're back. We're back. It's another episode of Buddy Sports presented by your favorite host. E-Money. And old dog presented by Listen Buddy Podcast. Come on, the only best place where you get your best sports takes and any other thing you need on any other play. Because we got all the things on you know, any other videos, playlists. You got the sports. Come you got on. the reactions. You got you got the movies. Aye. You got the random talks. Aye. You Pretty much bit anything of you need, we bring to we, you. We covering it. All right. You want Come the sports world? We're bringing that. All right, you Come want on. that Kendrick? Go check out the podcast. All Come right, on. we got the playlist. Go click on the little playlist, wherever the hell it is. Wherever it is. But we back. It's a yeah. crazy world in the NBA, and that's what we're gonna be breaking down today. Oh God. Hey, we started the show. Shout out Zach Fox with the beautiful mix of what is the rap beef it might be over. It's whatever. You gotta go see that on a different podcast. But today we're here to talk about <laughs> scary the Eastern aspects. Conference Finals. How people, how it ended. Who's in the Who's in the Eastern <laughs> Conference Finals? How we got there. Who's in the Western Conference Finals? Come on. Come on. How hey. we got there. Hey, dude. Who, what our predictions are in each West and East. And um, maybe some storylines. What would yeah. we like to see? Yeah. And then everything in between. Let's get started. Well, how how did you think that Nixon Pacers game played out, brother? Oh, man. What a series. First of all, I don't think I thought we – y'all definitely heard us talk about this. Yeah. Last couple episodes, we thought the series was over. Right? I thought confident. New York was going to end it a couple times, but shout out to the Pacers, man. I don't want to take anything away from them, too, because they're a great ass team. They play together ass ball. So, like, respect <laughs> to that. But yeah, I think I said, I don't know if I said it in person, uh, recording or not, but I definitely said to somebody, if they're going to lose the game, it's because of the team ball and because of the bench points. Mm. In the first game, we saw they had 46 points off the bench. In this first game, the Knicks had four points off the bench. Yep. By the end of that series, the Knicks was tired. The Knicks was <laughs> burnt out. The Knicks was they dying. literally could not go on. That's why the question for this series would mm. be: Do you think it was the Pacers being more dominant, or do you think it was because the Knicks were hurt? These are questions. Hey, these are good questions. Hey, I would probably have to say. Be, I yeah. would have to say the injuries are, yeah. played a great part. Yeah. Definitely Just, a big part. You know, I got to try to be loyal to the bandwagon that I yeah, I mean, on to. They didn't even have Julius Randle this whole time. And who knows if he would have messed it up or fit. I mean, he's an all-star, so he'd probably help the team, I'm sure. But right, right. Brunson would get less touches. But, yeah, you had Leo Brunson. And then it was like, fuck, even Josh Hart got the injury. Josh he got Hart the little ab, abdominal, ab, abdominal. I was struggling. But, hey. hey. He, like, put his shirt up. He had a bunch of tape there. I was like, God bro, damn, bro. I don't even understand what that injury was. I don't know. Was. Yeah, I don't he even, even. It looked like he couldn't even move. He's like, Jay, if I can't get the rebound, he said, no rebounds. Bro. Get on the bench. Come on. Even if Tibbs telling you to get Josh, on the bench. Josh, you can't get boards. That's someone was saying, like, Tom Thibodeau just plays the fuck out of his players. That's why they be getting injured and shit, too. I mean, but, it's, I mean, they only have six. It doesn't look good. Yeah, it don't look good. Josh looks Hart, like he did do that. Hart, why he got 48 minutes a game, bro? Like, what's going on? Yeah, man. Not actually. But. I don't know. But then you look at it like I saw some stat where LeBron, but that's what's made, that's what makes LeBron LeBron. LeBron played like a hundred games straight. <laughs> yeah, and like, did that's Iron Man, bro. Sit God down damn. those hundred games 
That's like peak LeBron. That's just crazy. That's, that's just that's LeBron though. That's, that's just why peak LeBron, human though. performance. Yeah, that's like, that's that's crazy. That's because it's LeBron though. And I mean, the Knicks also only had like six or seven people in the actual rotation. By the end of it, they had like Trey or Alec Burks going mm. crazy. Like they, he was trying to win the game for him. And when I saw that, I was like, all right, I think it's over. No facts. They lost a couple, but. I would probably say the Pacers were pretty dominant. I mean, at first, I would definitely say the Knicks were going to win, but towards the end, they started picking up their offense. We know, like we even said that earlier, that they play like super fast, play team ball. Um, I think they shot 67% from the field that last game. It was like, you're not winning after that, you know? And they had like, I think, 90 points in through the first three quarters. It was like, come on. Even what if you guys doing? were playing good with the what Knicks, they would have still lost to that. So what, what are we doing here? Yeah, exactly. They were getting clamps, but... Knicks were trying everything. They put OG in at the beginning. Bro was like on one leg or some Off shit. Off that horse tranquilizer. Off baby. that whole train. He bro was high as hell, just like trying his you best. Can see in the, in the pre- bro was like, oh shit. Yeah. And the know. Pacers saw that. Like, hey, keep going at bro. Him. Keep going at bro. And they did, bro. They got like hella free points. Yeah. They got Siakam going in the beginning, but that would have hey. been a good matchup. OG and Siakam. Yeah, that, that would be good be. to have OG in the lineup. Some yeah, championship dude. experience. He's got For a real. Would have maybe helped the tough. boys. The question is, is there a Knicks curse? What the fuck's going on? It's generational at this point. Yeah, like, what's what, going it's, on, it's, 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 it's transcended it multiple so players, multiple uh, front offices, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Basketball gods just, just can't let New York win, bro. They, they, it's, the streets are saying Ja Rule fucked it up. I saw Ja Rule <laughs> kissing the street. He, he was kissing the trophy. Oh. Some people saying he jinxed it. Oh, Spike can't do jinxed that, bro. it. Fuck. People saying Reggie Miller laced up the other fellow light skin on figuring out how to <laughs> fuck him up. People like, are oh, saying, you from what's Indiana? going on? Indiana, come here, pull up. He wore Boys the little hoodie. I saw Tyrese Halliburton had the hat after the game. Yeah, that's some Halliburton ass shit. Some Halliburton oh, we won. Shit. We won. Give me that hoodie. I guess I he had it the whole time. I do the same, but I don't know. But I mean, Loki, they he did. Made they so did so many choke. threes, bro. Oh yeah, that was crazy. How do you make that they many threes after missing that many in towards the beginning of the series? He was bricking hella. That's so crazy, bro. That's why it's a series, and I guess that's what makes those that Villanova boys a hey, Villanova true. They said we just got to win one game at a time. Then, trio. I guess maybe that trio is not. They ain't make it to the end. The series and stuff. Oh yeah, that's true. I guess like all one, we need is one. It's one. Yeah, one. They dub. got stuck there, so they can play all those in the minutes. <laughs> yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? They play. They're like, Josh, okay, we only you got play one. like we only nine got play games one. straight. And you're getting 17 boards, 13 he's boards, like, he's 14. Like, he's like, bro, one game at a time. Fuck it. You're jumping. Like chief. You're I, jumping. You're jumping. For this, I think you got to think about it. And I bet it. you somebody Morgan. probably just hit him wrong when he jumped yep. one day. Yep, one yep. Time. He's one jumping day. over, hit, gets hit by someone's, like, shoulder or some shit. I don't even know. So there's a lot to say about that team. But low-key, the underrated player is TJ McConnell, bro. Shout out TJ McConnell. Cold as hell. He was, like, making hella plays for the Pacers. All like, the right plays. All the right plays. Always mm-hmm. makes all the right plays. Like, mm-hmm. I love TJ McConnell's play style. He's, like, hella short. It's going to be TJ. He don't even look Peyton cold. Pritchard. But he nice as hell. Yeah, TJ Peyton Pritchard, bro. That's the East. All right. That's the matchup we wanted. That's the matchup we wanted. TJ, That's what I'm TJ for. and De- Derek White. That's what I'm paying for. That's what I'm paying top dollar. Big Come bucks. On. Pull up. That's, that's box office. Peyton Pritchard, TJ McConnell. Let's bring yeah. it back to the fucking 50s, right? Let's, yeah. Let's come them, on. Them back old. to the plumbers. Back to the white <laughs> man hooping. The whites. And that brings us back to the Eastern Conference finals matchup. Yeah. Which is now confirmed. Which is going to be Indiana Pacers and the Boston Celtics. I don't know how we got here. Makes sense, though. The I don't Celtics really haven't been you. challenged at all. It's like, what's going on? That's why um, I just like, damn, Tatum, like, do you, are you just chilling? You think, like, in the finals you can just turn up? I don't know if that's how it works. Like, like, I feel like they haven't they haven't played a game in, like, fucking 4,000 weeks. I don't and even remember when they last, did, it was just like they weren't like even trying. The it Cavs. was just like, Derek, what, you want to hit seven threes? It wasn't, like, even like a, it wasn't even to help the Cavs. But, um... <laughs> Even the healthy cast is like Boston's ah. looking good. It's looking like Adam Silver put something in the water for Boston to just be able to get this that right. easily. Yeah, but we're not gonna make it easy. We'll get Tatum. There. Like right. you gotta step up, dude. I don't know what's going on with Tatum, but this fucking Derek Stepped White up shit. In like the last game he did that last Derek game White to close fell it off out after the those last two games he fell off as well. He did, he did. But <sighs> come on, so bro. I don't know if Derek White we is doing Derek some. White things that he was doing in the beginning of the series on some weird shit but um but i'll be interested to see this pacers matchup because i know the pacers are kind of they play really fast like i don't think they're gonna win i just don't know who's gonna guard jb but this is i yeah i don't know who's gonna guard jt 
That's a good point. I don't know. We got Siakam. Nah. We got barbecue chicken. chicken wings. Shit. He's a neck bones. Collard greens. Yams. Yams. Collard greens. Fried chicken. Cheese. Cornbread. That's JT looking at motherfucking Siakam, bro. Not going to cap. He's he's eating him up. Miles Turner. They got they got balls. But Miles Turner. Miles Turner might get caught up. We'll never see. Well, hey, it might be an Al Horford Miles Turner matchup that we want. I believe in Al Horford. I believe in him being in the starting lineup. That's true. I, I He's just a little. I old. still said that the Eastern Con- they're not going to make it to. They're not. I what I, I said they're not going to make it out the East. Mm. So whatever. Shit. I guess I still got to say they're Let's not like, going to make fuck. it out the East. But I don't know. Man, we injuries be fucking the takes up. All right, like we can't predict the injuries. You know, if the I Knicks were here, you know and they were saying? healthy Knicks. You know what I'm saying? I'd be standing. I'm, by an, that. I'm an analyst. Like, I, I don't know I'm if I'm like an analyst. Just, I gotta analyze the game. I gotta it, see what exactly. happens with all my. You know, I got all my chips right out there. If and I don't got the ace, chips out, it's like, come on, you take a little money like, out of my pocket. I can't gamble with it like I want to. So, I mean, it looked like obviously, like on paper, it it it's got to be Boston, right? But on paper, we honestly thought it was gonna be the Knicks. Yeah, that's true. You never know what's gonna happen in these seven games. That's what the NBA is showing you. You just gotta last as long as you can. But some if shit Indiana going down. beats Boston. <laughs> I think they're gonna, they're gonna split up. They're splitting up the Celtics. They're There's no something. way that I think JT and JB get to stay together if they lose to Indiana. Oh yeah. There's oh, no yeah. way. They're getting rid of JB if that happens. Somebody's That's leaving. Fucked. I want. I, I I don't want that to happen. I don't. I don't. Because like, damn. You let Tyrese Halliburton be the man to split look, up the fucking bro, Celtics. Bro, look look at his fit, bro. Like, you, bro pulled up like that, and you're like, let him, bro, cook you, bro. I love you, Tyrese Halliburton. Man, bro pulled up like that. <laughs> bro pulled up kind of like this. It's whatever, though. But it's like, damn, I don't know. I don't got much to say except uh, I hope that the Celtics don't choke. But, you know. Yeah, we're going to see. It would be kind of five if they did, and then he wore the Reggie Miller shit again. Did Reggie yeah, Miller I even go see. on and win that chip that year? I forget. Nah. That's the thing. You beat, you beat the Knicks, but I did you he's... win? But did you win? Nah, Chief. You know what I'm saying? You might beat the Knicks, Tyrese. That might be good. Y'all might be tired, though, after seven games. Y'all got to go to Boston. You got the Reggie's hoodie on. You got to go to Boston. Come now. on. We're going to see that. You got to go to a different garden. Different TD. Garden. TD garden. You did good in MSG. Now we got to see you in TDG. Dude. Got to see you in Kevin's Kevin Garnett's land. Boston Celtics, they've been winning for a minute, bro. But mm. they keep, they got a good, even when they're ass, like, they were pretty decent, you know. Like they yeah, have man. the Isaiah Thomas era, team. and then Tatum. Like oh, Boston, great just, front office too. Historically, just, just historically always winning. But that's the problem too. Like they won so much that people expect like Tatum is like, like come on, bro. The finals ain't even enough anymore. It's like all right, we saw you yeah. go to the finals already. You took an L. Like like the finals isn't enough, right? Yes, exactly. And like people forget. People in the media always forget. We have a quick. We have a quick. We have like a like this short term tiny memory. ass. There we go. Short term low memory. Where we forget what happens. Like, for example, Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks were in the Western Conference Finals in 2022. That's crazy. And now we made it back with a no whole new team, damn near. Whole new whole team. New squad. Got a new whole system. New squad. We playing better defense. It's we play different. Game, like, you know, we come got on. Offense. Now we're back in there two Let's years go. later, and they're still we're not deep. talking about us. They're it's still crazy. not. They still say in the Timberwolves it's got crazy. us. They say they got our number. Come on, we didn't now. have to go seven games. We, we went don't. to six. Easy. We had a we had a we had an extra. We long went to break, six right? and five. We were chilling, you know, like took a little rest. Y'all they sweep got time the Suns. To celebrate. We beat the Suns too. The Suns are exactly who. <laughs> we beat the Suns too. Everybody can beat the Suns, bro. It's it's. I yeah, think they don't got a point guard, right? Come on, it's like, be, like right, I think it. everybody sees the Suns and then they're like neck bone. Chicken, <laughs> collard greens, like cheese, <laughs> cornbread. Like they just, they want to go fuck them dudes up more when they play against That's them. They facts. play harder because they be what talking shit too. They just hate Bro. all the boys it's over there. It's tragic. But, but Luca is like the next generation's next generation player. You know what I'm saying? Before like, we talk about that matchup, like, we gotta talk about the West and how it went today. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We gonna get there. We gonna start off with the matchups in the West too. That second round semifinals. That was Mavs Thunder. Yeah, there we go. There, there it we is. go. Them young boys, bro. They was running, bro. They was running. All right. Honestly, that was a great series. Like, I honestly, we predicted that shit. Come yeah. on now. Yeah. We was up there. Hey, hey, Come on. hey, hey. Y'all yes. heard it here. Check the yeah, title. We Check li- the title. Hey, 
Dead go ass. scroll it back. Ain't we nobody said. editing titles out here. On, All right, now. go read that shit. Come hey, actually, now. don't even don't even click out. It's right, it's right there. there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Come on now, Mavs and six. We let we let y'all boys know. We knew the Mavs were gonna take that shit. All right, take that, take that. No Easy pity. because <laughs> oh shit, it was turned up, brother. I promise. Yeah, so I started blasting. It was good. Bad. Yeah, so that's what we were smoking on the Thunder Pack. That's what we was doing. That was crazy. That big Thunder Pack. That's we'll throw up a it. couple of the. You see up behind us, we was in the bar, bro. We, we was chanting, motherfuckers, motherfuckers was going Derek crazy. Light. We got it. We got everybody. Derek Lively. Was, Derek Lively. They were saying Derek Lively in the bar. Sorry, Derek. Yeah. Derek Lively. I was like, man, this for Derek Lively, he did play. I, I was very his ass surprised. Off. Shout out Derek Lively. I was very surprised to see that Derek Lively situation. <laughs> not gonna lie, but uh, these things happen. We were lit. Um, when I knew we were gonna win that game is when D Double J hit the same Rudy Gobert dumbass. Oh my way. god! As soon as you see these shout out Derek Jones doing Jr., fucking bro. fadeaways and shout making out, bro. them, what the fuck? And then Jason Kidd, get up, helping them up. Come on, man, that's oh, the Dallas Mavs way. That's Dallas Mavs, right? There. You know what Jason Kidd gonna do? He gonna he gonna beat the coach of the year. You know what I'm saying? He gonna beat the Suns. Easy. He, he he gonna beat. Yeah. The motherfucking Thunder. Yeah, yeah, you got the coach of the year, buddy. Yeah, you rose from 11 it's to number good. one. That's cool. That's because We got, got bigger it. goals. You got team chemistry. Did you even make any really tra- really any trades this year? Y'all was just vibing. Y'all was y'all was lit. Y'all was some young boys, man. Y'all was in the locker room making TikToks. Y'all was having fun. Y'all was getting the fit off. Y'all was doing commercials. Y'all had hella team Skims. chemistry. That's what y'all got. Now y'all got there off of team chemistry. I ain't mad at you. But the experience is what took you out, buddy. Hey. Okay. We got Jason Kidd. That right? red rivalry. Bro was there. Twenty eleven championship. All right. He knows what it is, what it takes. Come on. And you know what's crazier is if we see, if we see the Pacers in the finals against the Pacers coach, that coach Rick Carlisle, Jason Kidd. Storylines. Hey, storylines. Story storylines. We definitely sweeping the boys, but hey, storylines. I don't know if we we'll sweep them. All right, but but we a great. We're if, winning. We're winning though. That's a dub. Or win a w do for a win. We for still real. shout out Wanna. Shout go out Wanna. Hey, w do for a win. Pop up the gun and react. Yeah, pop. go see that if you haven't seen it. You go know, pop up, somebody yeah. said I was lazy in that hole. <laughs> it's okay. There's a, there's a reason, but it's fine. Uh, <laughs> go watch the video. Whoever commented that shit. Like, That's just crazy. Watch the full I fuck shit. with y'all. I fuck with y'all heavy for that. Um, hey. But yeah, nah. Mavs, man, what a closeout game on the Thunder, dude. They played some fucking amazing basketball. We still haven't got Kyrie in full action. He was doing good though. Yeah. He had twenty. He had twenty two. We gotta give it up to we gotta we do have to give a moment for motherfucking Shea Gilgis Alec motherfucking oh, man. Bro was out there doing everything he could to keep his man. And there was like a stretch at the end where I was like, This motherfucker really about to just do it, it was, himself. It was just he, him against us. It was one it was one player against five at the And honestly, the, they just, weren't even giving him those crazy stupid calls at the end, which I was happy. That's with. how it seems like it always goes, though. Every, every game I've watched, like, the first half they give bro like twenty one points, twenty points, nineteen points. Yeah, foul there, foul there, foul here, foul there, foul there, and then the second half they're like, now we're not gonna call no fouls, <laughs> and then we're gonna make the game like even. So when there was moments where my boy Luca was about to get a second tech and then get thrown out the game. It's because he was like, y'all just wanted this to go to game. Y'all just want a game seven. Yeah, literally. he was talking shit to Tony Brothers. Because you know they're we trying support to push that. NBA is like, hey, we support that. Come on, we don't this. fuck with Tony Brothers. Hey, they also the don't clip. fuck with fuck Tony, Tony Brothers. Brothers. <laughs> we got that shit. <laughs> fuck Tony Brothers. Them boys was. Them boys was upset in the club, but um, these crazy. things happen, and we're just happy to be here <laughs> because we knew it was possible. Anybody who, like, bruh, to the homie who said. Man, Kyrie came into y'all's organization, and last year y'all was in the Western Conference Finals, and this year y'all not even in yeah, the playoffs. Bro. That was last year. That was last year. All right, let us let us cook, bro. We need he, it a year. He pulled up mid season, bro. What the fuck you think? In the middle season? of the year, he's just supposed to get it down like that. Like, right, Michael Western Jordan, Conference. he got beat by the Orlando Magic after coming back from the fucking baseball yeah, game. Shit don't just happen, bro. Come you gotta on build now. that. You gotta shit. you gotta lock we in. We gave bro. Kyrie and Luca a whole off season. All right. We and gave them year. amazing fucking NBA trade deadline. Dallas, Best you can do whatever you league. want in Texas. You don't need that shot, baby boy. It's crazy. Yeah. You can do whatever the fuck you want out we here. We don't give a fuck about you can COVID. Be Muslim. Right? You can be Muslim. And Say whatever That's okay. Fuck. It's all good. That's We're okay. We, ain't we like support them. the brown boys. Hey. Come on, the tribe. The tribe. Hey, dude, Kyrie. Come on. It doesn't matter. We got some answers. What we do in Dallas is what we do in Dallas. We make shots. 
All right. Hi. What we need him to do, though, is we need him to show up and how he showed up in January 27th. We're going to talk about it real quick. Got the quick little notes. Yo. The Dallas Mavs and the Tims matched up in January. Which I actually went to that game. Pop the pickup. Pop. That shit was crazy. I was texting, that shit was actually crazy. I was texting him the whole time because yeah. it was one of those games that Kyrie went crazy. Yeah. Luca went crazy. Yeah. And Ant was playing. And Ant went crazy. Yeah. And Cat went crazy. Yeah. I it got was a stats. great game. Great so it was game. like this preview of the matchup. How's it going to go? Pre In January, we didn't have Gafford. We had Dwight Powell as our it center. It was damn near a different team back then. You know no, what I'm it had, was a different team. We had team. Dwight Powell as our center. Derek Lively, yep. I think, might have been playing. But Get, was he playing like Derek Lively's playing now? No. Nah. He's playing for something bigger. He's playing for... He's playing for storylines. He's playing for Luca. He's playing for himself. He's playing for his mom. Shout out Shout Derek out Lively. Lively. We fuck with Derek Rest Lively heavy. What we have to say now is what will happen, Mr. Rudy Gobert, Mr. Defensive Player of the Year? We saw what you did. We saw what you did, but we also saw how you lost a couple of those games, too. We don't forget mm-hmm. about how you lost a couple of those games. Yeah, no, you had We a saw Jokic working that ass, boy. Pause. No, was but, hey, that shit was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but... So, yeah, that, that team was definitely different than exactly. the Mavs that played the Timberwolves in January. We didn't buy in completely. We switched our right. whole team identity up with getting Washington and Gafford. Those changed the whole defensive presence of the Mavs. Yeah, now that's too. what it was. I and was everybody's missing. sleeping on the Mavs defensively low-key. And I think they're low-key. We're the dark horse. As good, if not We're better, the than the Timberwolves defensively low-key. That's what I hey. – I'm hey. not going that far to hey. say that. Cause Mavs. you got you got Jaden McDaniels, you got Alexander Walker, you got Ant, you got we Kat, got, P- and you we got, got PJ Gobert. Washington. Y'all got Jaden McDaniels. Boom. We got but Luca Kyrie. Y'all got, got Ant. They got okay. Kat. They got Cat. That's why we got Lively and Gafford. They cannot That's play one at the one. same time. They can't. They can't. Oh, that's just because then we now, figure it out. But though? then we got to put. Hey. I'm like, put Dwight Powell in the rotation. Powell what? probably be in the rotation. I don't think he will be. There's no way he hasn't even. Play. I don't think he's okay. But okay, let's continue. So back in January, the Mavs beat them. And this is how the stats went down. Anthony Edwards said he's going to be guarding Mr. Irving. But last time in January, last time they met, Mr. Irving had 35 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 blocks, 3 steals. Ant had 36 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 block, 3 steals. Both of these guards played extremely well. Beautiful talents. Even Kat and Luka had a great game. Duke uh, Doncic had 34, 8, and 6. Kat had 24, 1, and 7. Everybody's cooking. That it was, was like, cooking. That was, was one playing. of the games to be at. They I was, was so playing. Mad. I was. Like, I was texting him like they crazy. know. Like some games in the regular season, you go to and it's just like you can tell they're playing, but they're not really trying. This is one of the games you go to and you could tell like they were playing. Like, like we might see y'all. Like we gonna see y'all later. We might see y'all. And Ant and Luca, low key, they're they're in that new generation. That's so. what I will say. The matchups, like who's okay. So look, if you put. Because I did the 2K simulation. I'm not going to lie. I did the 2K. And I Sometimes beat him by you got to do the research. I beat him by six. Right. And that's me. And that's, hey, I'm just, I'm good. I'm out there. Is Hall of Fame. Wow. Okay. So who's going to guard Luca if you put Mike on Luca? Luca's too big. Luca's too big. That's 6'9. Six, 6'7. Six, yeah, yeah. I'm he big. Can't. I'm too, I'm too It's probably going to be Jaden. Jaden's on Luca. Okay. And they got Anthony on Kyrie. Kai Kai. You already said that. Hey, we're in for a classic low key. Ant already then you calling got D-double-J. out. Yeah, D double J. Yeah, D Don't let him be lurking on the side. Don't. Don't. He gonna dunk it every time. And he actually don't leave him on the three. He even might make a three. Josh. He Green, was shooting he well, bro. That two. last closeout game, four for six from three. Hey. And he was splashing out. He was hey. shooting with confidence. I was like, okay, DJJ. Hey. DJJ. 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 D double J. Come on, man. Then we got PJ. PJ, bro. PJ, bro. We got PJ, bro, going crazy for the gangsters. Oh yeah. So then you got PJ on cat, and then you got Derek Lively on Rudy. Yeah, slash Gaffer. Interesting. Hmm. That Interesting. Itch. It could work. It could work. But no, no, I don't think you put. I don't think you put Jaden McDaniels on Luca because, that, or maybe you don't because you got to play Mike Conley. You got to play Mike mm. Conley at the point guard, and then if you put him not on Luca or not on Kyrie, then that means that leaves a matchup for D Double J with Ooh, Mike Conley. Oh yeah, nah, that's not gonna. Then work. you got to put. So then you really got you want you want Mike on Kyrie. Yeah. And on Luca. Yeah. Keep everybody else right there. Yep. I mean, that's probably your best bet. They'll probably you, have if, some switches going on, yeah, too. Yeah, there's got to be. Because there's, there's no that's way. That's the lit thing about the NBA playoffs. It's all about matchups. Like, one series to the next series, the team might completely switch up their, like, offensive scheme and their defensive, like, go-tos but, like, you, with their play. We say this, but those Timberwolves and Nuggets game really made no sense. That series was different. No, none of no the sense. home teams won. 
It was like what? I think one time the Nuggets did or some shit. Same but with the slow key. Like, same what? with the Knicks. And, and then the it Pacers. was like you would, they would get blown out, and then the other team would get blown out. Then they won three in a row. I thought it was over. It was blown, like, like blown out. It was blowout games. Like it was the yoke, and then the Nuggets just won three in a row, and I thought it was over. And then Ant's like, "Nah, bitch, fuck y'all. We gonna be back." And he pulled back up, and he beat him, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, doesn't Hang make on, sense. Lie. This new, this next chip. This is the new generation. Like, you got to think about it. All the players are gone that we grew up on. Mm-hmm. Like, we said this at the beginning low-key, but. And the streets are saying India has not even got a chance, so it's up to. It's going <laughs> to be JT, like, and Luca, t- or Ant getting their fucking first <laughs> ring this year. Honestly, like. And I'm excited. I, that's look, what I'm we saying. We either I'm, go down the street or we go to Minnesota or Boston. That's lit, dude. Both those places are going to be crazy. It's all going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. We're going to the Ain't parade. Ain't nobody going to Indiana. We're going no. to the parade. Now, if it happens in if it happens in Indiana, Cheap. I, Cheap. I, we going to live stream. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to that, but because it's like, bro, are y'all even having? A but parade? also though, think about how crazy they're going. Yeah, they. This is all we got. That's facts. But you seen Jeff T talk about the Milwaukee parade? Right. Like, they mm-hmm. wasn't. He was like, they wasn't doing shit, bro. He was like, wasn't it like you and Portis? So like y'all, y'all couldn't get a jet somewhere. He's like, nah, Giannis wasn't trying to do that, bro. Like the clubs were whack. It was like the oh, weird. Oh, it wasn't outside. They was not outside of that team. He's like every team I've been on that wanted shit. We was like smoking up the jet. He was like gassing it up. He was like, yeah, nah, we didn't do shit. It was whack as fuck. You know, Jeff T funny as hell. Shout out Jeff T. Damn, you know, club four five twenty, I think. Club, club fifty four twenty or some shit. Fifty four four five twenty. Go figure it out, bro. That shit's fire. Go figure it out. <laughs> Go watch that shit. Um, but yeah, but that I think that's a good matchup. Hey, we I excited. Got in seven, though. I'm excited just for everything, bro. This playoffs is more than I really even thought it would be like. The last four teams, I would juicy. never guess that it would be these last four, but whatever. This is the time we're in now. But it's awesome. T Wolves, man, they're they're no joke. They yeah. fucking did that shit against the Nuggets, and I said I was gonna buy an Ant jersey. So hey. I'm gonna put that whole on order, but that one was sold out and shit. Nah, you, you, I think there's like I got to order one. I saw an Instagram ad for Fuck. the NBA, the NBA officials with like eighty percent off. Oh really? All right. Now I don't know because that was coming Andrew. That was the one round earlier though. All right, but you know what I really want is the eighty ones. Where are them hoes at? Them hoes impossible. Bro, you actually do got to pay the tax. Fuck. Or you wait for the re-releases of the charcoals. Oh no, no, not oh, the re-releases. That, that little tie-dye you need to pay ass. for some re-releases. Or you wait for the charcoal ones or the fuchsia ones. Mm. The fuchsia ones are the tie dye pink, and the yeah, charcoal yeah. ones were the little ones he just won in. Oh, the, like gray, the smoky gray. The ones were fire too. Ugh. Those would Dude, be a slight the, one. Those would color, be a slight one. Them colorways are I like fire, those. bro. I might have to wait for the charcoal. You know what I'm saying? Because the rest of them, the velocity blues are the charcoals. We're getting a pair sooner or hey, later. We're gonna get them. Don't know when. I'll be off court with it too. I'm if he fuck. beats my team. He better fucking beat them all. That's all I gotta fucking yeah, say. Facts. How are hey, we ending this bitch out? You wanna touch on that that fucking series real quick? Oh, we didn't even touch on it, did we? Yeah, we went through we a little bit, but it. we we gotta we gotta go into deep because I didn't think Bro could pull it off, but Ant did defeating the Nuggets make Ant the face of the league now. Because one, they're the reigning champs. Two. Is he about to get a 2K cover? Yes. 100%. Now, I'll give you that. They'll give you the 2K gives you your your flowers before the league does. Yeah, that's true. Luca got a fucking jerk. He got a fucking. Uh, that's true. He got 2K cover. Yeah. Now, is he the face of the league? That's a good question. Um, if I had to ask myself, I really. We got to see how the next season goes, man. Because yeah. we still got Ja Morant. Or if he gets a chip. He if, he gets gets a, if he gets a chip, it's like, sorry, John Moran, you had your moment. Now, if it's he over. doesn't get the John chip, Moran is like it's 20. like John Moran and him and Wimby. It's like, what's up, like John? The new <laughs> what's up, John Moran? It's like the new, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's either like. Oh, yeah. Wimby needs some time. He I would say squad. probably next year they're going to be having like hella more commercials yep, with him. Yep. They're going to be like way more shit with him popped up. He, they're going to have way more. They're going to have way more graphics about him. They're going to be like, they're going to be gassing him. They're not going to fucking wait like until the week where he goes crazy and then mm-hmm. gives him like they spam the NBA account with like four fucking videos about Anthony Edwards highlights because now they're like, oh, shit. We gotta get this guy. His player stock's going crazy. Yep. We didn't get the media coverage yep. right. Yep, yep, yeah, yep, whatever, yep. bro. Y'all always pick the wrong hey, person, brother. Facts, bro. No one thought he would actually pull this off. So shout out to Ant, bro. That shit was fucking insane. 
all the Lakers fan all over the fucking world, including me, are happy as hell. They Everyone's just became happy. Timberwolves. That shit's hilarious. They said, fuck the Nuggets. But the same thing I said when we first started talking about the Nuggets, bro. They don't got a bench. They need Bruce Brown. I said that at one point. They need Bruce Brown to come off the bench, give him those, like, 10, 15 and points. And I hear that take. Sorry, and, like, the clu- in, the, in the, the time where the offense would dip, they had Bruce Brown come in and hit those clutch buckets when Jamal Murray couldn't get going. Jokic, boom, Jamal, uh, fucking Bruce Brown hitting threes and shit. Mm. They need that, like, offensive push off the bench. That, and they need MPJ to show up. Oh, yeah, that's facts. MPJ in, uh, to the Lakers, <laughs> I think, had was, like, 25 to 30 points a game. They were, like, or like for six or five games. And for this one, he had, Never like, missed. in the teens, Bruh. maybe single digits for multiple games. Same with Jamal Murray. There was two games where bro was, like, four for 11. So it's like when Anthony Edwards at the end of the game said, I had that boy in handcuffs, hey. he was not just yeah. talking about this game. The whole he was talking about the whole series. Because technically on that game, the boy Jamal gave him 35. Yeah, facts. The boy Jam- Jamal and Jokic did everything they possibly could. They, they did could. the two-man game. But, that but offense- the man who made the two-man game on that team – Literally is the Timberwolves coach destroying it. So it's like yeah, that GM put some that insider ass trading, bro. He's like, bro, I created. Yeah, this. I, cr- I know Tim Connolly. He made the Nuggets and then he went to the Timberwolves. We He's talked like, about. This I like, know exactly. He's like, how this to is stop what we this. need. He's like, go trade for Gobert. They're like, what? Go like Bear. Gobert. It's like sign a max deal. They're like, give him, like give him forty one. <laughs> forty one. More than AD. More than AD. Oh shit! This motherfucker not playing. Come on. But honestly, the Nuggets looked in control in the, that second quarter. I thought it was over. But then third quarter came around, and them boys don't get scared. That's how you know it's a great team. When you can be down and figure out a way to come out and pull your team out of it, Anthony Edwards hitting the three turns around, talking that shit, everybody's lit. I'm on the TV lit. I'm like, Man, you he, can feel that energy. I feel like that's showing you he's the face of the league, bro. He got on. that. People are wanting to hear him talk. They want, yup. They want to hear him at the press conference. They want to hear him like his reaction when he hits a shot and all that. Like nobody wants to see Jokic after he hits the fucking three. Bro, don't even look like he wanted to hit the three. He looked like fuck. Made that bitch again. Yeah, he's like twelve for fifty in the in the playoffs for three. But at one <laughs> point, it was kind of wild. I was like, damn, brother. Just yeah, bro don't even out. like ball for real. They were like, hey, are you going to play in the Olympics for the team, uh, Serbian team? He's like, brother, please don't like talk about basketball right now. They oh already asked him? Damn, bro. Or was that, was that a joke? Yeah, yeah, no, no. Are they you actually, serious? Yeah, they asked him that shit. Yeah. That's funny as hell. I was like, damn. But they got, That's hey, man, fun. shout out. And they even had Mike Malone raging, bro. Just stupid ass questions. Like, Mike Malone man. is like a, like we saw Mike Malone win that though, win that thing. And Mike Malone probably he been around a couple of African Americans. Oh yeah, he got a little in him. You know what I'm saying? But you got to keep that energy. <laughs> he got a he's lit. I ain't gonna lie. When he was winning and uh, he's man, like sh- pop up some Nuggets, Mike Malone celebration, that pack, bro. That Lakers pack. That thing. boy was drunk, red face, had the chain on. The baby, chain's crazy. Baby, up in the up in Denver, off that big pack, baby, up in that mountain pack. No, they high as hell. Hey, what? Literally, and y'all can have the cigars. We're taking all these months <laughs> for real. Damn, but, uh, Denver parade probably. No more like, for that. No, no back to sorry. back. They was trying. They almost got the dynasty. They almost did. They, they almost no. secured the dynasty. They almost secured the dynasty. I was sorry. like, you know, for me, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, I like Jokic. I like how he plays, yeah. and I like the Nuggets team. So I was not excited because I low key think we have a better chance against the Nuggets. If I, as a Mavs fan, oh yeah, as an analyst and as a great fan of basketball. I'm so happy for Anthony Edwards though. Oh yeah, not gonna lie. Oh yeah. So it's like I was a, uh, and I don't have. I wasn't like I was watching the Mavs game where I was like pissed off at the third, at the second quarter, and the third quarter, and then like I was just watching it, just like, why is every time I watch these two teams like it's never like one point, one point, back, 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 tie, 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 then a three pointer to win the game. It's always like blowout, comeback, blowout. Yeah. Like why? Shit can't just be consistent, The Nuggets are bro. better to, like, be down 20 than to be up 20. Low-key, low-key. I hate the Nuggets, though. I ain't going to cap to you. They fucking play style just – it's honestly amazing. Jokic just runs that shit. Yeah. But it's just like, damn, bro, sometimes hit the most annoying shots. Like, you pay the greatest defense of your yeah. life for 23.9 seconds, and then the last but point – Rudy Gobert. Point one yeah, Rudy Gobert, I guess. He started getting cooked. No, nah, I'm talking like that Rudy Gobert fadeaway, man. Oh, he, he bro. He oh, hit a Jokic bro. move on That's, Jokic. They, it was they like, knew it was over. Even AE at the fucking press conference, he was like, yeah, bro. If Rudy, once Big Rue hit that fadeaway, 
that that'll take it out of you. I was like, damn, that's facts, bro. Not gonna lie, like Rudy hit in the face, bro. I would be pissed. I ain't gonna lie. That's I what the Thunders was saying pissed. about DWJ. Yeah, that's facts. But the fucking. series overall was entertaining. It was confusing. It was nice because you didn't know who was gonna win, and then yeah. we are happy with people who won regardless. And we get to see a great storyline develop in this young man's life. What a game seven. It's wonderful. Honestly, I would love to for the Mavs to win, but for in terms of speaking of the NBA future, whoever wins is going to be a great NBA Finals because mm-hmm. no, none of these teams have seen the title in a while. If, so If that boy Kyrie gets a ring in Dallas, oh, dude. he's never leaving. Oh. And I'm, I'm Come on. so lit. Come on, Kyrie. I'm like, Kyrie, though, where you be? Yeah, where where's you be? He? I be see. We, we we'll see random videos of Luca crib. driving around. Never see Kyrie. I ain't never. I only saw you one time in Deep Ellum with the homies doing your event, which we're happy about. Shout out hey. your event. Shout out the Anta ones. Hey, know I think I'm sneaker saying? politics. Um, yeah. I'm curious how. I'm curious if he was getting royalties from his uh, shoes from Nike. Because mm. that's just a random sidebar. That boy Skepta just did a Puma collab. Oh, yeah. And he wasn't getting his royalties from Nike. So then when all of his shit sold out by Puma, he was like, man, thank y'all. Because Nike was treating me like an influencer. Oh, wow. I was like, big Skepta? Damn. What? Yeah, so that's just. I bet and then Kyrie said, fuck though. Nike, basically. Essentially. I also they heard they weren't him. giving him like that design input or maybe they just. They probably to... wasn't. It was like, bro, come on, bro. Shut up and dribble. They're like, we're our shit. Dude. You seen this shit sell? So, like, come on, man. Regardless, yeah, the, those, those Kyrie fours, the purple lobster Kyries, was doing numbers. Oh yeah, no I'm Kyrie, them early Kyries were. Come SpongeBob on. fucking collabs, dude. Zion's, on. well, when Zion fucked his foot up in the Kyries. Oh man, that was crazy. The thing is, we He's just too I'm big just, though. Just so happy for Kyrie. Yeah, the media's dude. been trying to slander you. That, for that's so long. what I hate, bro. And it was like the whole league had this fucking label on him. Like it made he's no sense, though. Like, and then the Celtic shit made it worse. And then, like, yeah, he wanted to leave Braun. Whatever. He even said he fu- fucked up with that. But I mean, you can't blame him. He's playing with Braun. You know, he's like this talent of that damn near up there on the level with Braun that he was playing at. But everyone, you're gonna get overshadowed by Braun. So he wanted to make a name for himself, and then he realized like. Damn, I probably shouldn't have done that. Like, right. I guess that, like that's gross. I don't know. But, but some people like, never realize it. But were look, you're not supposed to leave. You make your own path. Exactly, bro. It's all meant, meant for it. And now he found Dallas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, that's how it works. <laughs> Bron, come on, me. fuck it, reunite him. Yeah, that's what the streets are. That's what that's what deep NBA Twitter is saying. Is Bron is trying to come play with Bronny in Dallas because Bronny and Dallas. All right, bro. We need some <laughs> bigs, bro. All right, bro. Like, okay, bro. It's been a wonderful day, a wonderful right. time. I hope everybody likes what we got to say, because if you don't, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. We're going to keep talking, though. Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. Now. We yeah, got the rest of the NBA playoffs to cover. Oh, we're excited. We're excited to see what happens with and the Mavs. Yeah. We're excited to see how the Celtics go out, even if I do. Even if, I, if I'm if i wrong, I'm okay with being That's wrong. That's all good. We got two series the reason left. I'm, the reason I'm on that Celtics wave is because they've hurt me two years, two at two mm-hmm. years at two mm-hmm. different times. Like, we I gotta can't. We got to see some. Bro, so, like, I'm just like, I'm just like New Yorkers and the Knicks. They're hurt. Yeah. They're hurt. After this loss, I bet you they're not going to be happy by any second round win again. Mm-mm. They want to get to the finals. Nope. They want they want to get there now. Come okay. On, look at Stephen A. He so, was proud of them boys though. Yeah. But hey, we got two, the two great series left and then we on to the NBA finals. We're going to be here talking about it for sure. Yeah. Stay tuned, but yeah. next up we got what? The Olympics. We after gotta, the yeah, after yeah, the finals hey. are over, it's the so basketball sports don't Olympics. Stop. Come on. Go gymnastics, we're going right. wrestling, we're going uh, powerlifting. Oh, we got the 100 we got, sprints. We got sprints. We got rowing. Hey, fuck hey, it. I'll watch some pole vault. There's some water Olympics, I assume, right? They be they be rowing and shit in the Olympics. Aren't they adding flag football? Oh, no, that's 2028. They got skateboarding in the Olympics. Bring in domino. Snowboarding, Loki. That's the winter Olympics. Buddy. Oh, fuck, fuck. And we go that like is the <laughs> end of the episode. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Listen Buddy Podcast presented by Lit. Wait. Damn. You had it, you had it, you had it. I always do that. I always nah, it's do all that good. shit. It's all good. I fucked up. Thank you time. for having us. But another episode of <laughs> Buddy Sports presented by Listen Buddy Podcast with your favorite host. Hey, money. Oh, dog. Hey, dude. Thank you for being with us. You know, thank you for listening. And it's another day. Hey, we here, dog. Go on. Hey, and as always, listen, buddy. Bow. And that.
that brings us to the end of another episode on the listen buddy podcast if you enjoyed the conversation as much as we did making it don't forget to share the love and hit that subscribe button reach out on all social platforms at listen buddy podcast and be sure to drop a like and comment below stay tuned for more episodes every friday and as always listen buddy Thank you.